If I look tired, it's because I am tired. But let's just get through this and then we can have the sweet release of the international break. It's predictions time. It's week nine. It's all based on pure science where we only have one golden rule. Oxford always win. <laughs> what can I say? We're amazing. But let's start with this titanic battle up in the northeast of Sunderland versus Leeds United. Two sides with promotion firmly in their grasp. And last week I had a very angry, very angry Leeds fan in my comments who was disgusted with me for thinking that Leeds would concede three goals to Norwich. He was quick to remind me how good Leeds have been defensively. And do you know what? I should have listened to him. He is right. I need to give Leeds more credit. My prediction, 4-1 to Sunderland. And if that doesn't show you how much I'm just messing around and having a laugh with these predictions, I don't know what will. But let's move on to Burnley versus Preston North End. Another Lancashire derby. Last time Peterborough were involved with a Lancashire derby, it all got a little bit heated. Ended with a biting controversy. The man at the centre of that biting controversy wasn't suspended and he fired North End to a fine win last time out. Burnley are going along nicely under Scott Parker but they don't score a lot of goals. Bit of a struggle for them in front of goal and I think they will just edge this one. This Lancashire derby will go the way of the Clarets. Burnley 2, Preston 1. Norwich City versus Hull City. Get yourself down to Carrow Road if you can, because I think this one's going to be a goal bonanza. I think it's going to be a fantastic game of football with two sides who are going to play very attacking football and go for it. Hull City have turned their season around in a short space of time and are flying. Norwich have also <laughs> improved lately and are going nicely, both of them under their new bosses. And I think this is going to be a classic, a Desmond 2-2. Oxford United versus Portsmouth, undoubtedly the game of the weekend. I'm sure you will all agree. And I'm just going to play some highlights footage, some random highlights footage over the top of this one. You know, no, no rhyme or reason. I just feel like doing it. But Portsmouth, what is happening to you guys? What happened in Stoke? Do we even want to talk about it? My goodness, what a beating that you guys took. You still are looking for your first win of the season. You know that you want it against my beloved Yellows. You know that you can taste it against my beloved Yellows. You know last season you got it against my beloved Yellows. But this time around, let's see. I think Oxford are made of sterner stuff. We've, we've got that monkey off our back of losing every away game. We've got that point against Luton. And Oxford are going to do exactly what we've just seen in this random highlights footage that I just happened to put on top of this section of the video. Who remembers Dean Smalley? I do. It's going to be in his memory even though he's still alive. Portsmouth 1, Oxford 4. Yeah, I know, I'm crazy. Get over it. Coventry versus Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, yep, so Cov, fine win for them at home last time out. Wednesday, creditable draw, creditable week for Sheffield Wednesday. Although the Wednesday fans I work with will still unhappy with that nil-nil draw. There is no pleasing the Owls at times. But they do look very lacklustre in front of goal, especially away from home. And I do just think Coventry will edge this one. Not a classic. I think it'll end up Coventry 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0. Derby County versus QPR. A couple of tough losses for the Rams, but a of, couple of tough games. And I think that Paul Warren side will be eyeing this one to try and get back to winning ways. And just like how we talked about in the last game between Coventry and Shepherd Wednesday might be a bit of a dull affair. I feel it might be the same in this one too. Because QPR aren't pulling up any trees. They look a bit rubbish at the moment, the R's. And I think Derby are going to edge this one. Nice home win for Derby by a goal to nil. Plymouth Argyle versus Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers, the unbeaten run is over. And surely that is season over. And surely that is John Eustace out now 
and the Venkis have only a matter of time before they bring in a new manager. I jest, of course, but this is going to be a tricky game, I think. For Plymouth Argyle looking pretty good at home, pretty good under Wayne Rooney at home park. And I think Plymouth are going to get another home win here. I think it's going to be back-to-back defeats for Blackburn Rovers, and I'm going to go for another fine win on their own patch for the Pilgrims. I'm going to go for Plymouth 3, Blackburn 2. Sheffield United versus Luton Town, the only unbeaten side left in the championship is Chrissy Wilder's Blades. They're not doing it in spectacular fashion, but my goodness, they are bloody tough to beat and bloody tough to score against. And I think they're going to be too strong for this Luton Town, who I've just seen play Oxford. And I thought, other than the fact we gifted them a two-goal lead, I didn't think they looked that special. Lacking a bit of a few quality players, a few quality players out injured. And I think the Blades are going to just get the job done again at home. I just think it's going to be another narrow victory, but one where they're just going to see it out. Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield Wednesday, oh my goodness. Sheffield United, sorry Blades fans, won Luton Town nil. Swansea City versus Stoke City, my goodness. The cannon has fired. Big time. He's exploded. He exploded all over Portsmouth. I'm, I'm sure there's no jokes in there. Um, what a performance by Stoke City and particularly by Cannon. Four goals for him, six goals for Stoke. And they firmly put Pompey in their place, sent them back down south, red bottomed. That was a fantastic victory, kind of out of the blue, really. And I think they're going to make it two wins in a row here. I feel the Swans just gone off the boil a little bit. I, I wasn't very impressed with the game they had against Bristol City. And I wasn't very, you know, and then they just succumbed to Sheffield United like everybody else does. And I just think Stoke are going to go there and do it. I think they're full of pip and vinegar now. Pep in their step for this Stoke City side. And the Potters are going to get the victory. Swansea 1, Stoke 2. Watford versus Middlesbrough. I struggle to know what Middlesbrough are going to do. I thought they were going to lose to West Brom and they come away with a fine away victory. So then that puts me in the annoying position of having to back them for this game and they're probably going to let me down. Watford, a very unpredictable side themselves. And this one's probably going to be one I'm going to get completely wrong. So like everything in this video, take it with a truckload of salt. But I'm just going to edge for Borough just off the back of that strong victory they had midweek. And I'm going to go for Watford nil, Middlesbrough 2. West Bromwich Albion versus Millwall. West Brom need to get back to winning ways. A bit of a shitty week for them. Losing to Wednesday, losing to Middlesbrough. Baggies fans are probably already panicking, but they really shouldn't. This is almost like probably the perfect side to come up against. I feel Millwall, they'll sit off West Brom. West Brom will be able to take the game to them. And they... Millwall may be able to get the job done if they, they might be able to get get an early goal and then just sit on that lead. But I think West Brom are going to be too strong and West Brom are going to get the victory. Not as comfortable as they probably would have liked it to be, but I think it's going to be West Bromwich Albion 2, Millwall 1. And finally, we move on to Sunday and Bristol City, who seem to be on telly all the time at the moment, are playing Cardiff City, another Bristolian Welsh derby. Uh, Bristol City have just had one against Swansea and now they've got one against Cardiff, which is the one, the team they hate more. Cardiff is obviously closer to Bristol, so I get the feeling that's probably is the case. But let me know down in the comments. So not a lot of love lost between these two sides. Cardiff very much needed that victory uh, last time out. Fantastic for them to get their first win. They'll be hoping to build on that. Don't think they will, though. I feel Manning's men still spluttering and stuttering a little bit in front of goal. But I feel they will get the job done here. Um, and I think it's going to be Bristol City 2, Cardiff City 1. OK, folks, that's it. Done for me. That's week nine in the books. Put your mortgage on it. This is all bound to happen. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your predictions down below. Leave your comments down below. Remember, it's all just a little bit of fun. Done with the nonsense of my silly brain reading out these score predictions. So no need to take it so seriously. Or do. 
who really cares? But if you can like this video, that would be great. If you can subscribe to the channel, that will also be great. And I'll be back after the international break to do more predictions and more reviews and more videos. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. My work is done here. What do you mean your work is done? You don't do anything. <laughs> Didn't I?